When I count three, will all of the ladies in the audience please go, <sighs> Tab, when I was young, he just was amazing looking. Beautiful California surfer that every single girl or boy would want to make out with. Mr. Tab Hunter. He was the embodiment of youthful American masculinity. He was as big as they could come. Are you Tab Hunter? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Kids and the fans just gravitated to him. He was the all-American boy, and nobody sold that image better. How do you shave, Tab? With a Gillette Super Speed, of course. What do you like about Tab Hunter? Well, there's <laughs> quite a few things. Don't you ever think about marrying? All the time, Ernie. That's what keeps me single. Hello, I'm Tab Hunter, and I've got a secret. I would go out occasionally to a cocktail party. Parties like this were illegal. And then next thing I know, the cops came in. I had no idea it was going to jump up and be thrown out at me years later. I was offered the seven-year contract with Warner Brothers. Whoa! He was everywhere. Tony and I met at the pool at the Chateau Marmont. We just kind of hit it off. And uh, I went up to his room with him. And he wasn't after me, so he wasn't on the make. And women like that. John Waters called me up on the telephone and said, how would you feel about kissing a 300-pound transvestite? I'm sure I've kissed a hell of a lot worse. Every actor who has a secret like being gay, there's a part of us that are afraid to be who we are. Well, I would never have talked about my personal life in the 1950s. I think you have to be true to yourself. I've never been as open as I am with you.